Hello traders, welcome to the channel again. My name is Andre Cardoso. For those who are here for the first time, I welcome you into this journey. And I, w I also want to cover some of the fractals that, that I have on my charts. And some of you may be uh, familiar already with those levels. Basically, they are previous fractal support and resistance levels that I like to track during the, the weeks and, and, and during my, my trading uh, journey also. So I want to share those levels also with you. And I want to update some of those. Um, so basically, I'm here today with this video to update some of the Forex pairs that that I follow on a daily basis that I like to pay attention to. So I want to, to track those levels uh, and I want to, to share all those with you. Let's start with the cable on a weekly time frame. Uh, and let's start with this weekly uh, weekly uh, fractal resistance printed at 124.47 and with the support at 118.42. Uh, uh, so basically we have this range uh, for a weekly time frame and between weekly fractals. We have also the monthly fractal support at the bottom and this high at 137.49. This is our monthly fractal resistance for the cable. Let's go into a daily time frame and let's plot also those uh, daily uh, fractals. I need to go, we need to zoom in a little bit and we have the daily fractal right below the recent uh, lows. So we have the, the, the recent lows at 122.64. And we have already, let me also change this. We have already our daily fractal resistance right below the major fractal at 124.31. So we have, we have the daily fractal at 124.31 and the weekly resistance at 124.47, so just a few points above. So we're still threatening that level as I show you before on my previous video. So those patterns um, are all there on those on that video that I shared before. So let's go into a four hours time frame to finish our cable uh, update on fractal. So we have the recent fractal support 123.44 and the same fractal it's used as a four hours fractal resistance 124.31 and it's a daily fractal and the uh, four hours fractal resistance for the cable. So we're still trading that price zone. Attention to one eventual violation below this trend line. So let's go, let's move forward and cover the weekly for the euro versus dollar. Very similar with the cable. We have the monthly fractal below. We have the monthly resistance above, weekly resistance broken, weekly support. Let's go into a daily. We have also daily support above the previous weekly resistance. And we have already a daily fractal at the highs. So let's go into a four hours time frame and let's identify those recent support levels. We have basically previous resistance and support 108.94, 108.36. We have also a nice trend line support for euro versus dollar. Pay attention to this structure. And let's move forward. Aussie. Let's go to a weekly. And let's start with the monthly fractal support 6170. 
we have monthly resistance 6661 daily uh, actually weekly resistance 6893 previous fractal 6629 or 89 weekly support let's go to a daily daily fractal resistance we have the daily fractal support right below the previous resistance but recovered immediately so we have a retest of the previous weekly fractal resistance turn it in, into support new higher highs for the Hossi we are retesting the previous highs from August let's go into four hours <coughs> sorry let's go into four hours time frame chart we have also some levels to take into consideration as we can see we are now threatening the recent four hours fractal support we have also the four hours fractal resistance the same fractal as the daily for the Aussie let's go to the Kiwi change to the weekly and let's also start with the major monthly fractal support we have also monthly resistance monthly fractal weekly fractal support and weekly fractal above the previous high so we have a uh, kiwi in fact printed recently the weekly fractal support let's go into a daily On a daily <coughs> we have also supported 6449 daily fractal support and in fact we have a new fractal we have a daily fractal right below the previous higher highs daily fractal resistance for the kiwi let's go into a lower time frame decrease to a four hours time frame chart four hours time frame shot four hours fractal also printed above the recent daily and we have also the four hours a minor support or let's say let's call it an intraday resistance in fact at 6504 this is the recent structure for the Kiwi as I shared on my previous video so pay attention to this price structure for the Kiwi also Aussie versus the New Zealand same process let's go into a weekly time frame and track those uh, Fibonacci those fractal not the Fibonacci the fractal support and resistance so monthly fractal support at the lows at 102.79 monthly fractal at the highs this is also the weekly fractal resistance weekly fractal support decrease to daily we have also a new daily fractal resistance at the previous and re recent highs 109.85 and the daily support at the previous lows 07.37 let's go into four hours we have a broken support right there 109.35 previous resistance 109.69 so let's go and change this to the bottom and this is the Australian dollar versus the New Zealand let's go and check the dollar versus the Canadian on a weekly we have also in fact I want to first of all I want to check the CHF on a weekly monthly fractal previous lows 93 71 
monthly fractal support, monthly fractal resistance above 101.47. We have also the previous weekly fractal and uh, resistance and support. Let's go into a daily. Daily fractal resistance, 92.79. We have also the recent support at 91.58. Let's go into four hours for the intraday support and resistance levels. Four hours fractal, 92.40. And the recent uh, support, in fact, let me adjust this daily fractal. This is also the fractal, the four hours fractal support. Now let's check the Canadian on a weekly. Monthly fractal resistance 39.77. We have also this previous lows from April. This is our monthly fractal support, weekly fractal support, weekly fractal resistance above. Let's go into a daily. We have a daily fractal right there. And in fact, we have a daily fractal support here. Let's go into a four hours chart new fractal support at the bottom 132.95 pay attention to this support it's, it's 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 trying to recover now the daily fractal and also threatening the most recent fractal resistance 133.46 so we are in fact we are threatening actually let me change this daily fractal this daily fractal was printed right there. So we are threatening the recovery of the previous fractal daily fractal support and also threatening the breakout of the most recent. So this is a pivot zone. So pay attention to eventual moves above this trend line as I sh uh, if you want to to if you want to pay attention to this support level because we have also an edge and shoulders pattern formation for the Canadian dollar right there. So pay attention to moves to the downside if the market violates the support. I shared this pattern already before. So pay attention to moves to the downside below this support level. But in terms of fractals, this is what we have pay attention because the breakout above this structure to the upside, which implies the breakout of the daily fractal above, may also force more upside momentum for the Canadian, which will invalidate our shorts for the head and shoulders pattern formation. That's another subject. We are here for the fractals for now. If you want to understand those patterns, check my previous video. Let's move forward, Norwegian Krone, and let's check, let's change to the weekly time frame. Monthly fractal resistance, the monthly fractal support previous lows at 855.76, weekly resistance, and the weekly support it's already at the recent lows. Let's go into a daily. We have a new daily support right there, right above the weekly fractal. We have a daily resistance 995.76. Let's go into a lower time frame. Let's go to intraday support and resistance levels. Fractal support fractal support at 984.45 we have a broken resistance already 
at 91.36. Dollar versus the Mexican peso. Let's go into a weekly again. Always the same process. This is a process, by the way, that I repeat every week. And uh, of course, for the major or higher degree fractals, um, to start the week with fresh shards and with fresh fractals. But uh, of course, I need to update those intraday and daily and four hours fractals. Uh, sometimes they change between uh, well during during the week, and we need to update also those levels. Uh, and you will see those also updated on my charts. So let's let's check the Mexican peso and and um, on weekly time frame. We have also a, a monthly fractal, by the way, already printed at 91.05. The let me zoom in. The weekly resistance is already at 1991. So this is the monthly fractal support, previous lows. We have a new fractal resistance at the bottom as weekly fractal support. We have, let's go to a daily. On a daily, we have the same weekly fractal acting as our daily support. And we have the previous, uh, actually we have the, we have a new fractal right there at 18895. Uh, Let's go into an, an intraday perspective four hours fractal support and the previous fractal resistance at 1882 and 1870 this is the recent range for the mexican peso let's change to the dollar versus the japanese yen let's go into a weekly monthly fractal resistance above not hard to identify. We have a new, we have this previous support acting as a monthly fractal for now. Weekly support and the previous highs also as a weekly resistance. Let's go into a daily. We have also daily fractal support. Daily fractal resistance at 131.70 so let's change to let's decrease to the four hours to finish the intraday let me change this to the bottom new support 129.18 and resistance at 130.29 Let's go to the Aussie versus the Japanese Yen. Weekly. Fractal resistance above. Fractal support. Previous lows. Weekly. Fractal. Weekly support. Let's go into daily. New support, 88.12, new daily fractal right above, 92.81. Recent support also, 91.59, intraday, previous resistance fractal at 92.60 for the Aussie versus the Japanese yen. Let's go and check the weekly for the euro versus the Japanese yen, also on a weekly time frame. We have a monthly fractal resistance right there. We have nice support here as a weekly support above the monthly fractal. Some of you may understand which pattern we are starting to see between those lows. We have this 
kind of a left shoulder right there, the head and the potential formation of the right shoulder for the Euro versus the Japanese yen. Let's see if this fractal support uh, breaks lower. Let's go into a daily. We have also a new fractal support at these lows, 137.92 with daily fractal resistance 142.29. Let's go into a four hours time frame chart and identify those intraday fractals, one support 140.53. And in fact, we are threatening the previous highs and fractal resistance forged at 141.91. Next one, the pound versus the Japanese yen. Also, let's start with the weekly. Monthly fractal resistance above, monthly support below, weekly support and weekly resistance. Daily chart, new support for the pound at 159.51, daily fractal resistance at 161.83. Intraday, four hours time frame chart, recent support fractal 160.70. And resistance at 161.40. Next one New Zealand versus the Japanese yen. Previous fractal and monthly resistance printed. 87.88, we have a new weekly fractal resistance above, 88.16, weekly support, 81.04, previous fractal and monthly support at uh, below at 80.58. Let's go into a daily daily fractal resistance right there 84.91 we have support at 83.57 intraday fractal support and fractal resistance This is not a daily fractal support, this is a daily fractal resistance, of course. This is the range for the New Zealand versus the Japanese yen. Let's move forward and cover the Canadian dollar versus the Japanese. Let's change to weekly. Monthly fractal, previous structure highs. Weekly fractal, retest. Then we had this fractal support right here, monthly fractal, new weekly support right there. Let's go to the daily. Daily fractal resistance at 87.82 and we have new support at 96.29. Uh, so let's go check the intraday fractals, four hours fractal support at these lows. And we have resistance above, I think there's just a few points above the daily fractal. Next one, the euro versus the pound. Let's go to a weekly, as always. Monthly fractal resistance, monthly fractal support, weekly support, weekly resistance. 
it's changed to a daily daily fractal let's change these to the top this one eventually uh, let's keep this one for now and we have the same fractal weekly fractal support it's also the daily fractal support for euro versus the pound let's check the intraday also four hours fractal support at the recent lows 87 59 and the recent four hours fractal 88 04 next one euro versus the australian dollar let's check the weekly also Okay, monthly fractal and monthly support. Weekly support right there <clears throat> and the recent highs or the previous highs, the weekly resistance. Let's go into a daily. We can see the daily support now being retested again in fact let me change this weekly so we have these previous lows as a daily fractal and the previous monthly and the, the previous uh, monthly fractal support by the way okay so we have this major support now under pressure let's check this on an intraday we have this fractal resistance right there and basically we have a new fractal support as we can see this is a weekly fractal from these lows in fact let me rephrase that I need to I need to confirm this weekly fractal for us for this pair exactly we have this weekly fractal we have this weekly fractal from november and we have already a new fractal support right here which is the four hours fractal support let me adjust this again at 152.55 so we are in fact we are seeing a very nice bounce from the previous uh, fractal and weekly fractal support resistance broken already at 153 so let's observe for now what's what will happen major support under pressure this may also act as a neck zone for the for a higher degree edge and shoulders pattern formation i talked about that pattern last Friday on my previous video so check those patterns if you wish euro versus the New Zealand we are almost finishing monthly fractal support right there monthly resistance then we have also the weekly fractal right there and uh, the um, the most recent support was formed at 166.68 let's go into a daily we have also support right above this the the the, the major one the major support the major fract the, the weekly fractal support we have a new fractal at 6684 daily resistance 6885 most recent support also 4 hours fractal 16712 and the previous fractal resistance right there at 6796 next one 
pound versus the Australian dollar on a weekly. Pound versus Aussie weekly. Monthly fractal. Monthly support. M weekly fractal support and the previous highs weekly fractal resistance pay attention to this pair also potential edging shoulders pattern formation we are now threatening the violation of the next zone let's go into a daily new fractal support at the recent lows daily fractal resistance the same as the weekly let's go into an intraday and check this four hours fractal and in fact we have already a new fractal resistance right there and to finish this video for the fractals for some of these forex pairs we finish with the pound uh, versus the um, the pound versus the New Zealand, and that being said, we have the major support or major resistance at 2.03. We have major support 181.41. Weekly support 89.41 new fractal resistance 94.05 on a daily the daily fractal support printed right below just a few points the weekly support 189.10 we have also a daily fractal at 9167 intraday four hours to finish we have also new fractal support right there and the recent highs 9124 fractal resistance and this finishes the video for the fractals for all these um, forex pairs and uh, i hope that helps you to to identify those price zones or those price levels for the week and for intraday at least for today and eventually tomorrow we will need to to adjust some of these intraday levels so be here tomorrow and we will play them together Thank you for being here as always. Stay well and have a nice trading week.